You got 550 on the tag, would you take 500 for either? You get to pick. Gun Showers, it is July 12th, 2024. We are in Washington, Missouri at the Franklin County Gun Show held here at the Elks Lodge. The gun show opens up here in a couple minutes. We had a great bit of suggestions in the community section of the forums. So I'm gonna keep all of those in mind as we go through this gun show, but really what we're looking for today is the best deal we can get for that $500 budget. Of course, if you're liking this content, make sure to hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and make sure to leave a comment, let me know what you thought. Need to get inside and get some of that AC, but the line's out the door. Take a look, nice, clean, well-lit venue. Okay, the Taurus PT-99 for 425. I can't walk in the door and not see a clone right away. I've seen that gun at gun shows before. Don't know if that's a good price or not. Let's keep looking. I've got a Taurus PT-11, 111, sorry, Pro for 335. Used FN High Power for 1325. We've got another FN 32 Nazi Mark running 900, a Comer 43, 25 ACP. I don't see a price tag on that. Really neat little gun there. A Boyard Depeche, 25 ACP, around 400. We got 600 on this Modelo Super 1911. We got a CZ52. All right, we had CZ52 on the community comments. Already seen a CZ, a Beretta clone, all on the same table. That could be on the radar for sure. A Polish Porti, Polish P64, 9 by 18. I don't see a price on that one. We've got uh, DPMS AR10 lowers, 450 each. We are looking at a Glock Gen 5, 9mm, runs 790 on that. We got a Glock 19 done up with the Donald Trump, running 900 there. We got another one, Donald Trump edition, running 900. We got the, ooh, the Canic Rival S. I have heard nothing but good stuff about these. I've heard a lot of good stuff. I don't see a price on this one. We got one right next to it, the Rival S Chrome with red dot, 1029. That is a good looking gun right there. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. Then we got the Canic Apocalypse. On an 840 right there, the Smith & Wesson Shield 9mm. I'm looking for a Shield in 380 though, 400. We got the Taurus G3C 9mm running 300. Another G3C and 9mm in FDE 320. The PT92 in, oh my goodness. Do I stop right now? Mm, I just I just talked to these subscribers. They say get a revolver and then I walk up on a PT92 chromed out 9mm. On a 4.99 on it. All right, another Canic Rival S 9 millimeter, running 900 on that one right there, guys. Another PT 92, man, very nice. 500, a CZ Shadow 2 Compact 1350. Pointed it out. It just came out. P365 Fuse. Is that a new stippling? Got a Magwell on it. Just released them. Wow, very nice, very cool. Thank you, thank you. Running 640 on that guy. Very cool gun. Love it when we can see the new stuff here at the shows. We got another SIG P365X comp, running 850 on that one. The Deagle in 50AE, beautiful gun. All the Americana right there, running 2600. We got the Magnum Research 50AE again, 2700. Beautiful, beautiful, great selection of guns over here. AMT backup used 380 auto. Hmm. We got a SIG P365 Fuse also, 880 on this one. Now it's got the red dot. All right, we got the Glock 43X MOS 9mm 500, a Walther PDK 380 and 850 on that one, another Walther PPK and 380, 850. We've got a Colt Defender 45 ACP, 1,000 bucks. We got another one above it, 1,000 bucks. A Springfield Prodigy 9mm 1440. All right, we have a Smith & Wesson M350 and 350 Legend 1640, a Smith & Wesson in 460. Excuse me, $2,000. Beautiful gun. Look how big that thing is. I got kind of small hands, to be honest. Uh, another used Smith & Wesson 460, 1300 A Chiapa Rhino in 357 Mag. That is a cool looking gun right there. 1400 Another Chiapa Rhino, 1490 Sorry, 1390 We got a Chiapa Rhino here, even smaller than that. Rubber grip with 200, well, 200 DS, 1200 Huh. What we got here? A 45 410 pistol. Super Command Use. That'd be funny to pick up another 45 410. No box. Huh. Cool. Colt King Cobra. 
22 long rifle, 1,000 bucks. Another Taurus 357 Mag Raging Hunter, 840. Another Chiapa Rhino, 1550. And a Rossi 357 Mag. I don't see a price on this one here. And a Ruger Red Hawk, 44 Mag, 1100. A Ruger GP100, 44 Special, 800. And a Walther CCP 380 Auto, 455. We got a Walther P22 22 long rifle, 240, and a Walther PPQ 22 long rifle, 319. Very nice. Wow, it's been about two years since I've seen a AR50. Last time I saw one, I bought it, 4,500 bucks. We've got an Armalite AR50 over there, very cool. If you guys haven't seen mine, go check out my videos. All right, guys, we've got the Steyr AUG in 223. Beautiful gun right there, look at that. On a 2230, got an IWI Carmel. I haven't heard of that one, 1800. And then we've got a Ruger Mini 14. I love that one, that was nice, 1500 bucks. Very cool. All right, across the way here, we've got a Chris Vector in 10 millimeter, 1600 at the end. We've got another Chris Vector in nine millimeter, 1550 at the second one down, and in 45 ACP, 1600. I don't see anything on this Thompson, but I'm sure it's not something I can afford. All right, we've got CMMG 9mm, 1500 for the AR pistol here. We've got another one in CMMG Banshee, 45 ACP, 1600. Third one in the rack, we've got another 10mm CMMG, 1600, and a 7.62x39, 2000 bucks. And then we've got an auto ordinance, very last one on the rack, Tommy AR. 45 ACP, 2,000 bucks. I'm not sure how much you can see, guys. I don't want to yank it out of the rack. Let's see that receiver right there? And we've got, all right, we've got a black rain upper, 400. We've got a bunch of uppers here, a complete upper, 370 on that one. We have got the Winchester Model 12, 20 gauge. Beautiful gun right there. Running 800 on that one. The Walther, 380. Beautiful. Hope the lighting can pick that up. Run 650. The Colt Gold Cup Trophy. 45 ACP, 1800, and a car PM9, running 400 on that one above there. That's a beautiful one. Look at that, guys, another Russian SKS. Running 1100 right there, that one's very nice shape. Very nice shape. The one I picked up, a little less shape than that. Look at this. What is this? We got a Model 12, 30 inch, vintage, mutton leg. All right, we've got an 1888 Commission Mauser 8mm, beautiful gun, running 450. We got a Mosin Nagant M9130. Izhevesk Arsenal, dated 1940, running 650 on that one. Look at that Chilean Mauser, dated 1895 in 7mm, 350. And we've got a U.S. Civil War Spencer carbine, caliber 52-56, 2150. Beautiful gun there. Then we got a Marlin 336 CS, caliber 3030, Bushnell scope on it, run at 850. And a Winchester 18M 1892, 4440, 1500. And last on the door, a Trapdoor Springfield rifle, caliber 4570, 1889, 950. Right, guys, we've got a Winchester Wildcat 22 long rifle. 275. Next to that on the rack, we've got a H&R 22 long rifle, semi-auto 450. All right here on the rack, we got a Harrington Richardson 22 long rifle again, on 450. And a little bitty guy on the rack here, a S.J. Stevens Arms Little Scout 22 long rifle, 450. Little bitty guy there. And the Savage Axis in 308, running 625. And last on the rack there with that unique bolt, Swiss K11 in 308. That's pretty cool. Run 550 on that one. We are running Anderson's AR-15, 675. First one on the rack there. We've got 1200 on the gun next to it. I can't see much about it. It's got scope on it. We have Delta on AR-15, 675. Another Delta on the rack, 600 for this one right here. And a Browning BPS 12 gauge, 650. And a Remington 12 gauge at the very end there, running 750. All right, we've got the Smith & Wesson MMP in 30 caliber, 500. We've got another Springfield Armory in 45 ACP, the X XDS right there above it, 525. We've got the Ruger PC Charger, 9 millimeter at the top, running 850. What are you running on that 92X? Nine and a half, very nice. Out of my budget, but very nice. Yeah. I like them, I like them. All right, we've got the IWI Tavor, 12 gauge, beautiful gun, 1350. Behind that, we got a 
Ruger Precision 308 1700. Back here, we've got a Ruger Precision 338 Lapua with bipod 2400. And this one right here in the middle, Ruger Precision 300 Win Mag with bipod 2200. This one right here, we've got a Ruger Precision 65 Creedmoor bipod 1700. And a Scar in 308, 4000 bucks. This one right here. And a Smith & Wesson MMP12 TLR2 with laser. Huh, I'll see a price on it. Very cool. And we got the six millimeter arc AR15. Run a 950 on that one. First one in the rack there. And over here, I don't see any tags on some of these, but we got an arrow in 308. Right here, 1200. What do we got here, guys? A Glock 17, nine millimeter, 675. An American Tactical ATI 1911 850. Wow. A Ruger MK220 22 target, 625. We've got a Ronja 32 cal RF spur trigger 325 a HR Smith and 32 Smith and Wesson 275 and a 38 Smith and Wesson trap door DA only 300 and we're looking at a Ruger BP 45 cap and ball 900 we got a Marlin mod 81 22 cal first one on the rack 395 and we got a Marlin mod 25 22 mag 495 and then we've got a Winchester mod 67 22, 425, and then we've got Marlin Mod 80, 22 short, long, long rifle. Nice, pretty bolt right there, 425. And a Brazil 22 cal with scope, 350. And tucked next to it is a Hawthorne Mod 880, 22 semi-auto, 375. And we've got a Mossberg Mod 42M, 22 short, long, long rifle, 425. Second to the last one on the rack there. I think the last one's a BB gun. We don't want to look at that. Uh, Remington Mod 105, 22 cal, single shot, 275. We got a Remington 12 gauge, very nice stock. Double barrel, 950. Next to that one, we got another, another double barrel. Sorry about that. We've got another double barrel, William Powell 12 gauge, double barrel with hammer, 850, very tight. And we've got a Eclipse 12 gauge ML shotgun 750. And last one right there on the rack is a NR Davis 12 gauge 350. This, I have seen this one before because I remember commenting on it. That's a rough one, but if it works at 350, I know my friend Glenn is looking for that. I'm gonna have to give him a text. All right, 12 gauge single, single side lever, 225. First one in the rack there. We've got a Excel 12 gauge, 295. We got a Mossberg 500 12 gauge, deer gun, 450. And then we've got a Remington 870 12 gauge, full short, full and short barrel, 750. And a single shot here in the rack. H&R Partner 12 gauge, 325 for that one. And then a Brazil 12 gauge, 250 for that. And second to the end, a Western Arms 12 gauge, 325 single shot, and a UTAS single shot, 275 12 gauge. All right, we've got a Winchester 840 20 gauge single shot, 325. And then we've got in the second one of the rack, Winchester Mod 370 20 gauge, 350. And a, what is that, a Hawthorne? Hiawatha, Hiawatha 20 gauge, 325, I think that's what that says. And then fourth one in the rack here, we've got an HR 20 gauge single, 395. And a Savage 220 a 20 gauge, 325. And another single here, Eastern Arms 20 gauge single shot, 295 right here for this one. Tightness racks over here, the Excel 16 gauge, 295. Not too bad for the like 16 gauge single shot. Talking about maybe a hundred bucks. And a Stevens. 94C 16 gauge, sorry, <clears throat> excuse me guys, 325 and second to last one on the rack here, a Winchester 370 16 gauge 425 and very last one there on the rack, an Ivar, Ivor Johnson 16 gauge 420. Across right, here, we've got the Savage 94 and 410, 325, second one coming down this way, another 410, single shot, 425 and black, a Stevens 301 410. 295 and a Nobel 410 pump on an 850 on that one. Third one here from the end, a Revelations Bolt 410, 395. 
and a Stevens Mod 39 410 in bolt, 325, and last on the rack, a Savage Mod 240 410 over under 1500. Cool. Got a TriStar Tech 12 12 gauge, 580. We got a Marlin 336 JM stamp, 35 Remington, 950. We got a Benelli M2 12 gauge. 1320 there and a Henry H008 in 3030 989 and sorry about that and a Winchester 94 in 3030 I don't see a price on that one and a Sears Marlin goose gun 12 gauge with the magazine that's not too bad on a 250 on that I got about 170 70 bucks and one that's in 20 gauge Remington 870 12 gauge 625 very cool got a Remington 514 22 long rifle 195 dollars and next to that we've got the 410 Henry Charles Daly sorry 410 200 and a Henry Survival 22 350 the Hatfield SGL 20 gauge single shot 290 another one next to it 200 and green is a Remington 710 and 270, running 440. Then we got a Remington 1120 gauge, 1395 on that one. And a Stoger Condor 12 gauge, 500. Then we've got a CZ USA Redhead Silver 20 gauge, beautiful gun, 921. And a Remington 700, 243 Winchester, 600. Nice looking gun right there. Whether it be P08 12 gauge, 475. And a Benelli Vinci 12 gauge, 1360. And an Ameri American Tactical 410 over under, beautiful looking gun, 700. And a Stevens 555 and 410 over under in 850. Remington 742, 30 6, 695. I don't want to move that, would have messed the barrels up. Remington 870, 12 gauge. I'm looking at seeing 550 on that one. All right, guys, we've got the Winchester Model 1200, 12 gauge. Beautiful gun, 550. And a Winchester. 12, 12 gauge again, 600, and a Stevens double barrel, 20 gauge, 800, and a TriStar Hunter EX, 16 gauge, 600. We've got a Savage 67E, 12 gauge, 750, and a Winchester 12, 12 gauge, 700. We've got a Ithaca 51, 20 gauge, running 550, second one in the rack, Winchester 1200, 12 gauge, 600, and then a high standard 20 gauge, Running 500 on that one, third one in the rack. Fourth one, a Mossberg 500 EG, 500. And then an Escort Pump, 20 gauge, 500. And then a Boito, over under 12 gauge, 550. And last one in the rack, a Charles Daly, over under 12 gauge, 950. We got the Weatherby Vanguard, 257 Weatherby Mag, 1400. And a Herders XK3 and 243, 800. And a Winchester 70, 30 at six. 1,000, a Savage 340D, 222, 700, and a Savage 10, 260 Remington, 850, third one down on the rack, a Browning A-Bolt, 300 Wind Mag, 1250, and second from the end, a Weatherby Vanguard, 22, 250, 1,000 bucks, and very last one on the rack there is a Savage Edge in 25 odd 6, 550. All right, we are looking at a Savage Mark II, 22 long rifle, running 600. Very neat looking gun there. And a Savage Springfield, 410, bolt, running 300. And then we've got a Howa 1500 and 270 WCF, running 850. And then a Thompson Centerfire TC Venture, 308, 575. Winchester 94 and 3030, 800. And we've got a Savage 93R17, 17 HMR. I've got one of these beautiful guns, beautiful guns, 550. Savage Model 110, 7 millimeter I8 Remington, 550. And a Revelations 122 long rifle with scope, 300 on that tag. We got a Remington 870 20 gauge, 750. And a Remington 30 out 6 SPR Super, 30 out 6 Super. Look at that, 650. I've never really even heard of that. It's 30 out 6. Let me know. All right, Remington 788, 243, 800, and a Remington 552 and 22 right here, running 450 on that one, and a Remington 740, 30-odd six, running 750, and a Remington 514 and 22, 375. We've got a Savage 111 and seven millimeter Remington Magnum, 700, and last one here on the table, 
for shotguns or long guns is a Mossberg 835 12 gauge 450. We've got a Raven Arms P25, a 25 auto 250. That's a cute little gun. Smith & Wesson MP Shield 9mm 450. Got the Ruger 357 Mag GP100 900 and another Ruger Wrangler 22 long rifle 450. Huh. Springfield Armory XD45 45 ACP 550. The Glock 27. 40 cal, 550, and a Taurus PT 24-7, 40 Smith & Wesson, 550. Ooh, another PT 99 AF, 4500 as well. Okay, we got another one on deck here, 500, very cool. Hello, how are you doing, sir? Oh, I'm good, I'm good. You? Good, that is good. We got the Ruger Vaquero, 45 cal. 800, a Glock 43X 9mm, 495, a Ruger Mark 1, 450, and a Ruger PC Charger, 9mm with binary, 1500, but it's crossed out, an HR Sportsman Mod 999, running 850, look at that, that's a good looking gun right there. Then we got the Ruger 357, Black Hawk, 975, and we've got a Slide Fire, 250 on that, don't know much about those, uh, I guess that's for that bump firing. Taurus Tracker, 357 mag, seven shot, titanium, good looking gun, 700. And the Colt Mother of Pearl, 38, 950, a Colt Police Positive, 3220, 600. And a Herders, 357, 500. All right, we got a CVA Optima 50 cal, 325. And then we got a Flowbart Wall Hanger, 125 bucks. A J. Stevens Model 44 Ideal 22 long rifle from the 1890s, 1600. And a Kidder Edge, you guys will have to take a look at that and read all that off. Carbine, solid offers only. Civil War again, you guys take a look at that with the 50 cal bore, a lot of good history right here. All right, look at this, a French FL dated 1810. That is a neat looking gun right there. They got 865 on that, that is, that is cool. This, this one's interesting, it came this one right here? The same, no, yeah, the same. They use those. The French sent that model to us during the Revolutionary War. That really? One of, one of the models they sent over. Really? 1775. Well, that is cool. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. That is awesome. Yeah. I'm going to read French model 1773 used in the Revolutionary War 70 cal. Very cool. Very neat. Very neat. Yeah, really. I love it. Very cool. Thank you. All right, we've got the World War II 1943 Korean War M1, running 1650 on that one. We've got the Navy Model 1843 Box Lock by Ares, 1650. And a French de Gandermeria, help me there guys, 770. All right, Ruger 1022, 22 long rifle, new in box, 320. We've got another Ruger, 75th anniversary, 400. Then a Ruger and 22 long rifle and AR-15 platform, 525. And next to that, we've got a Century AK-900, DPMS AK-47, 800, and a Henry 44X, 1080. And very last one here on the rack, looks like a Ruger LC carbine, 45 ACP, 1,000 bucks. And we've got a Poom 12 gauge over under 400 and a Poom 410 over under 475 and we've got a Mossberg 940 Pro 12 gauge 11 or 1050 and a Weatherby Vanguard 65 Creedmoor 1000 bucks second air last one on the rack they are here. We've got an Anderson running 600 at the AR at the very end and a Marlin 45 70. 1400 and a Savage Axis and 30 odd six. Beautiful gun, 1000 bucks. Mm. Sometimes getting here early on a Friday, got empty tables, they're still filling up. I hate it because I've only got today to do it, and I sure hate to uh, miss out on a good deal. So I like it. Good attention getter right there. All right, guys, we made it back around here. It's cleaned up a little bit. We got a 38 Special, 357 Mag, Cimarron, 685, a Smith & Wesson, 38 Special, 4-inch Barrel, 650, a Smith & Wesson, Model 15-7, K38 Combat Master, 725, an H&R 20-gauge, single shot, 240. 
And a Smith & Wesson 38, six shot, US property, 750, a Smith & Wesson model 1905, running 650, a Smith & Wesson 357 Highway Patrol model 28-2, 745, and a model Smith & Wesson mod 1905, 38 special, factory blue, 650. Very cool, very cool. And then we've got the Ivor Johnson Cycle Works 380. You guys have to read off all of these. There's a lot of detail in all these tags. I love it. Again, Ivor, Ivor Johnson, Cycle Works, 32 Smith & Wesson, 285. We've got the Smith & Wesson Mod 27-2, 357 mag, running 1,000 bucks. We've got a Smith & Wesson 32 Safety Hammerless, third model, 32 Smith & Wesson, 1909-1937 manufacturing, 450. A Smith & Wesson model number two, second series, 38 Smith & Wesson single action, 475. A Smith & Wesson 32 hand ejector, third. 550, a Smith & Wesson 32 hand ejector, third model again, 650, and the one up top here is a 38 Chief Special, model 36, no dash, 795, then the Smith & Wesson 38 Military Police, model 10-5, 595, the Smith & Wesson, Smith & Wesson British Service Revolver, 380, 200, 785, and the 3220 WCF Smith & Wesson hand ejector, 575, and a 3220 cartridge hand ejector, 595, a Smith & Wesson K38 Target Masterpiece, 750, another Target Masterpiece above it, running 850, and a Smith & Wesson 38 Military Police, 795, and a Smith & Wesson 22 32 Hand Ejector, 925 up there. Very nice, look at that barrel. Octagon barrel, Stevens Arms, 22 Long Rifle, 350, and a Colt Trooper 38 Special, 1300, a Weebly & Scott Mark IV, 380 Smith, 38 Smith and Wesson 675, a Colt Police Positive 38 Special 595, a Colt Official Police Model 3220 Cartridge 625, and a Colt Army Special 38 Smith and Wesson 795, and a Colt Police Positive 675, and a Colt Office Official Police 38 Special 595. We've got the Sig P3 P938 9mm. I don't see a price on that one. We've got a Taurus G3C 325, a Beretta Tomcat 32 Auto 600 crossed out, 495 on that one there, and then a Glock G45 9 millimeter. We've got a crossed out price tag. Let's see what we're looking at. 575. We've got 225 on this little TCP and 380. I don't mind that. I need me a little 380. We've talked about it. I like that. Especially the price right there. So we got the Kimber Micro 9 9mm nine running 660, a Glock G43 9mm, 465, and then the Bursa 9mm. Must be used. That seems like cheap old price, 275. And we've got another RIA stock 9, 109mm, huh, 375. Not too bad of prices on these used guns here. All right, we are looking at the Ruger Red Hawk 44 Mag 825 and Uberti 1873 45 Colt 625 and a Heritage Rough Rider 200. We got the Ruger Red Hawk 41 Mag and we are running, it says 1100 but crossed out on it. And we've got a Uberti 1873 45 Colt 495. We've got an Uberti 1973 45 Colt 650, a Rossi 38 Special 425, a Ruger LCR 38 Special 550, another Ruger LCR 357 Mag 550, and the Taurus Judge 475. Ooh, I could be in the market for a Taurus Judge. I would love to have another. I uh, sold mine a long time ago, kind of regret it. Ooh, look at this, Smith & Wesson 29 44 Mag 1400. Beautiful gun, beautiful gun. Man, I like the way this one looks right here. This lever in 410, that's a beautiful looking gun right there for 550. We've got a Remington 700 ADL, 6.5 Creedmoor, 565, and Remington 783, 243 Cal, 535, and Remington 783 and 270, 450. What do we got on these lowers? We've got a Sharps lower, around 450 on that guy right there. A little over our uh, price we're going for with that. What do we got? Two barrels. What do we got here? Hmm. We've got a Mossberg 715T, 325, and the Stoger 12 gauge, 625. A Century Arms Wasser, 9 millimeter, around 600. That is not bad. I don't have six. That's a damn shame. Rossi R92, 357 mag, 725, and a Landor 12 gauge, running 475 on that guy right there. 
It got a CMMG MK4 Endeavor 950 and a ATI Omni AR15 running 400 on that guy. All right, guys, it's been a while since I've seen a 400. Oh, these are the polymer, all polymer. 400 though, ain't seen that in a while. Hmm, hmm. All right, a 12 gauge VP VR BP100 450. We've got the PF14 from RAA 350. Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 oh no. Okay, so not gonna lie. Not too sure what I was looking at over there on the same uh, guy's table. He's got those uh, Stoger coach guns, 12 gauge side by sides. Uh, they got 550 on them. I was gonna offer him five for it, see if he'd take it. But this little pump right here with mag fed is so so cool looking he's got 350 out the door for that one i'm gonna have to talk to him about one or the other here all right we've got a nine millimeter keltec sub 200 We're running 495 on that one i can't see the price on this one here for that sub 200 i'm guessing about the same we got the sega ak-47 with drum 1900 awesome 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 i love both calibers I, I, would you take 500 out the door for you pick you got a 20 gauge and a 410. I love both calibers. I have lots of both calibers. You got 550 on a tag. Would you take 500 for either? You get to pick. I got a 12 gauge too. You got a 12 for five? No. I'm letting you, I'm saying you pick, you hook me up. I, if you could do five, five, 500 out the door, it's all I bring is 500 cash to the gun shows. If you say no, that's cool. You got another gun over there I'm looking at for under five. Yeah, I'll do five. Do five out the door? Oh, awesome. Let's get that paperwork started then. Sounds good. Which one do you want to get rid of? I love 410 and 20. Doesn't matter to me. Which one do you want to move? Which it's one's harder? Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. Love it. All right. That's perfect. All right, guys. We just struck a deal on this 20 gauge here. Side by side coach gun. 500 out the door. I appreciate you taking the time to uh, work with me on that, man. Thank you. Like I said, I only bring 500 and we can get that paperwork started. Yeah. We'll get this paperwork. Fill it. Oh, no, you're fine. You're fine. Yeah, 100%. All good. All good. All right, guys, while we're getting that name ran, let's go over here and grab us a gun show hot dog and go outside and wait. May I get a hot dog, sir, please? Just one. All right. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. All right, let's get this food cramming down and go outside and hang out for a minute while our name's being ran. Ooh, right. I'm a little hot out here still. All right, let's see if the government saw fit to give me my rights. Hell yeah, man. Thank hey, you. Appreciate on? it. Yes, sir. Subscribe, yes, sir. Subscribe. Yes, I love it. I love it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Any luck? All right. You guys have a good one. All right, gun showers. Another successful gun show here in Washington, Missouri, the Franklin County Gun Show held here at the Elks Lodge. Still going on for another two days this weekend. There were still a couple vendors setting up tables as I'm exiting, but I decided to go with the Stoger 12 gauge side by side. Uh, the guy did have a box and said, man, if you can wait, cause I'm still setting up tables, I can go get that for you. But then the, it's a little short box and I wasn't about to wait. I got to get another you know, hour drive home and edit this video, get it up on YouTube. Man, that sun does me no justice here with view. So let's take this thing back, take a look at it. The Stoger Coach. I am, I am happy with this purchase, guys. Um, it's in 20 gauge, which is a lighter caliber. Some of you guys asked why I've bought lighter calibers previously. I got two daughters, so it's perfect, man, as I bring them up through the gun realm. Uh, don't want to beat them shoulders up too bad. Uh, I would have took it in 410 as well. Let the guy pick the caliber between 410 and 20 gauge since he gave me a good deal coming out the door. As always, guys, make sure that if you like this content, you hit that like button, that subscribe button, ring that bell so you're notified on future adventures, and you leave a comment, let me know what you thought about this gun show. I'll see you guys at the next one. Have a good one.